Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. To get to the top of the rear shock mounts, we have to go inside the trunk before we even raise and support the vehicle or take off the wheel. I'm going to remove the trim panel that's in here. There's a flat bladed screwdriver to unscrew these plastic clips. Pull that out. Put this back together so don't lose it. Clip here. And there's a clip here. Put those aside. You can actually lift this up to get it out of the way. Because we're gonna oh, there's another clip here. We'll just kind of lift up on it. You can pop this trim up by pulling it up and out clips and then we're just going to slide the carpet part off. If this comes off all the way that's fine. You just put it aside. You will have to do this for both sides. From here we can get inside to the top of the shock. I'm going to spray some rust penetrant on the top of the shock. This is a locking nut. And in the top of the shock, we have to put a five millimeter Allen key in to counter hold it. The nut is 14 millimeter. I'm gonna put a 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench on here and a five millimeter Allen key and a breaker bar to counter hold it. Just taking it off with my fingers. Take out our Allen key and breaker bar. The wrench came out with it. Take off that top plate. Just put that down inside here. So we're going to reuse it. We take our 19 millimeter socket and breaker bar, and while the vehicle is on the ground, we'll loosen our lug nuts. We'll raise and support the vehicle. With the lug nuts loose, I can just take the socket and finish taking them off. Lug nuts loose, I'll take the wheel off and tire and put it aside. Need to remove the lower bolt from the shock. We'll spray some rust penetrant. We're going to support the lower control arm with our floor jack. Take a 14 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Loosen this bolt. The head of our bolt is broken off. The bolt is going through the bottom of the shock and into a captured nut on the other side. It's actually kind of like a rounded, welded, threaded piece. So what I'm going to try to do is hit this with a punch and hammer it through and break off that part. And then I'll have to replace the bolt and just put a nut on the other side. So we're going to use an air chisel. Give me a little more power. Punching this out didn't work, so I'm going to use a reciprocating saw to cut the captured part of the nut off of the control arm, and then we'll replace it with a regular nut on the bolt. Got a slot wide enough now. I'm going to take a small pry bar and wedge it in there and a ball peen hammer and try to tap it away and 
break it off. There it is. The shock is loose, but part of the bolt is still through the opening on the other side. I'm gonna take a pry bar, try to wedge this out. I'm not worried about bending this stamp steel with the arm too much because when I put the bolt back through, we can pull it back together. I just want to get it apart enough and get the shock out. There it is. You may need to compress the shock. You can just grab it, press it down it up and out. Here's our original shock from our vehicle and our brand new one from moneyauto.com. It still has the strap on it from shipping. That's why it's compressed. Otherwise it is identical in design to the original. Now this should be normally, if you have a rust-free vehicle, this shouldn't be too difficult. This bolt should come right out of here. Unfortunately ours the bolt head snapped, and then I had to cut the bolt off and the captured nut off of the control arm. So I'm going to use a castle, nut, a new flange nut, and we'll install it just like that. So this, otherwise, this should work great and fit great in our vehicle for us. This needs to come off before we can install it up into the body. So what I'm going to do is just snip this off with some side cutters. The shock is going to want to expand. Take the nut off of here. Put it aside. Take off this rubber bushing. Separate these. One half is going to go through the body, the other half is going to go down on the top of it. So this will go like this. Got our bolts. This is going to get fed up into the body. Should just put the bolt in there for a second. I'm going to push up against the body to compress the shock. And then we'll lower this down in. bolt through. Just like that. We'll take our nut that we're going to use on the other side and I'll get thread that on. Let's get it snug for now. The car down so we can use the floor jack to lift the suspension up and put the shock up into the trunk. Let's jack up in the lower control arm a bit. Make sure it lines up and push it into place. That's all it takes. We'll put our bushing in just like that. We'll put our metal plate and thread the nut on. I'm going to use the ratcheting wrench tightens. Torque is 22 foot pounds. So I'm starting to turn the shock shaft so I can use this adjustable wrench. There's some flat spots on either side of this and I can counter hold it. Just gonna snug it up, and that feels pretty good. Use our torque wrench with a 14 millimeter deep socket, 22 foot pounds. So I should really have a crow's foot to do this. I don't have one, so I've got that snug and tight as I counter held it and just tightened it up. 
that should be good enough. It's only 22 foot pounds. It felt good by hand, so we'll leave that. So just repeat these steps because you should always replace shocks and pairs and do the other side. Then we put our carpet back in place. Just push this back up in place. Push it under there. trim back in. That just snaps back into place. We can lower this down. Push our trim clips back in and line up the holes. And get that one in place. Push right in. Get this one lined up. Pushed in. And this one here. Push this back in. Carpet's back in place. So with the jack putting some weight on the transmission, just like we used it to push the shock back up into the body, I'm going to torque this to 43 foot-pounds. I need to counter hold it. Of course, if this has the captured nut, you don't have to do that. Once it clicks, the bolt is tight. Now we can lower the jack away. Since we moved the sway bar out of the way while we cut our captured nut off, we're going to reinstall the sway bar link, but you shouldn't have had to do that. Otherwise, install your wheel and the job is complete. All right, put the wheel back on the car. Lugs caught, get them caught by hand first. We'll torque them with the vehicle weight on it when it's on the ground. Really just need to bring them down until they're seated. The vehicle on the ground, the lug nut torque is 79.6 foot pounds, so we're going to do it to 80. Do this in a cross pattern. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.